Does your hypothalamus control your emotions? Let's find out. Your hypothalamus is integral in your emotional response. Your emotions are mediated in a part of the brain called the limbic system, and that includes your hypothalamus. Your limbic system is a complex set of interconnected brain areas that integrate information about sensory stimuli, what you see, smell, taste, touch, feel. And your hypothalamus integrates with the limbic system to regulate your memories and your cognitive plans to actually produce emotional learning and emotional experience. Your hypothalamus works with the amygdala, which recognizes potential threats and is integral in the formation of fear-based emotions. Your hypothalamus works with the thalamus, which is the sensory relay center. And your hypothalamus works with the hippocampus, which is your emotional processing center. And then, of course, your hypothalamus activates your sympathetic nervous system to express emotion. The lateral parts or the side parts of your hypothalamus are involved in emotions such as pleasure and rage, while the medial part, the middle part of your hypothalamus, is associated with aversion and displeasure and a tendency to laugh loudly and uncontrollably. Your hypothalamus controls your expression or symptomatic manifestations of emotions. Studies done in the last century have allowed us to see the hypothalamic response in emotions. One of those studies was called the sham rage experience, where researchers actually stimulated parts of the hypothalamus of cats. That early research established that the hypothalamus has a prominent role in coordinating your emotional behavior. Researchers found that stimulating different parts of the hypothalamus produced characteristic reactions that appeared to correspond to specific emotional states. For example, if you stimulate the lateral hypothalamus, it causes autonomic and somatic responses, meaning nervous system and body symptoms, that are consistent with anger-like increased blood pressure, raising of the body hair, pupillary restriction, your hypothalamus facilitates the coordination of your peripheral emotional responses or how your body responds. It helps to direct the more complex interactions that are involved in your emotional drives and your emotional behaviors. I want you to think of emotions in the range of love to fear. So everything that's on the positive emotional side, we'll put on the love side. And everything that seems more of a fearful or negative emotion, we'll put on the fear side. It's an emotional spectrum. So emotions on the love side are like gratitude and compassion and empathy. Things on the fear side are like anger and rage and disappointment. Fear is initiated in the amygdala, which is the part of the brain that has basic survival instincts. When potential danger is perceived, the amygdala then stimulates the hypothalamic response to get away from the danger. Love is controlled by your hypothalamus. The biochemistry of love directs lust, attraction, and attachment, and it's all based in your hypothalamus. Lust is driven by testosterone and estrogen, both hormones are controlled by your hypothalamus. Attraction is created by dopamine, which gets converted into norepinephrine. And dopamine is the main neurotransmitter produced by your hypothalamus. High levels of dopamine and norepinephrine decreases brain serotonin or your ability to control your impulses. And attachment is mediated by oxytocin, which is a hypothalamic hormone. Oxytocin is known as the cuddle hormone or bonding hormone. One of the love emotions is gratitude, and we can map gratitude in the brain with EEGs and MRIs. Gratitude seems to begin in your frontal cortex, but immediately there's a release of oxytocin by your hypothalamus, which makes you want to bond. Gratitude can be really healing for your brain. Now, sadness, I'd put somewhere between love and fear. Usually sadness is created because you've lost something you love or were attracted to or attached to. The feeling of sadness shows up in our limbic system and our cortex. These parts of the brain trigger the hypothalamus to respond accordingly. So your hypothalamus does help to control your emotions, particularly your emotional behavior or your emotional response. 
Whether you will laugh or you'll cry or you'll get rageful, your hypothalamus controls your physical responses, like your heart rate and whether your hair stands on end. It's critical that you keep your hypothalamus healthy and supported. So why don't you join us in our hormone support group where we talk about how to support your hypothalamus, which controls your emotions, so that you can live your best life. You can access it through our free hormone reboot training. Since your hypothalamus helps to control your emotions, it is really important that you give your hypothalamus the support that it needs. So check out my video on how to heal your hypothalamus naturally.